Hey guys, it's Vicky and Elmer with Eat Try Unbox, and we're at Scrambler's Cafe in Norco. We're with Anthony, and then you don't see her yet, but we're with Jana also. She's inside ordering. Okay, so what'd you get? I got the Kahlua Benedict. I haven't tried it yet, but <laughs> potatoes are yeah, all right. I'll taste the Kahlua real quick. It's the first time having Kahlua. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've never had Kahlua before? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Have you had Benedict before? Yeah, I fucking love Benedict, honestly. That's like my go-to. Like, whenever I go out to eat, usually I'll end up getting Benedict. Especially if it's in the morning and they have it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But... Not gonna lie, I'll give the last place a higher rating. What? Wow. Whoa. Okay. Okay. It's good, it's just not... It's just not hitting, you know? Yeah. I think I would rate it like a... Uh, as much as it... I feel like I'm the nice guy too. I would rate this a 7. Okay. I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna give him a 7. <laughs> Look at their menu, see if you'd like anything. Because I can bring you something when I'm done here. What time does he get up? 5 or 6. Oh. But he takes his lunch around. Okay, so this is the biscuits and gravy. Oh, I got it. Do it. Would you like some syrup for that? Uh, yes, please. So we got this Kahlua omelet. I'm assuming it has Kahlua pig. And it looks like onions and cheese as well. Oh, let me get a piece of Kahlua. So I got a piece of Kahlua here. All right, without the sauce first. You wanna take a bite first and give your reaction? You can talk about yours. No, it has to be unbiased. Yeah, it has to be unbiased. Yeah. Since you didn't react yet, you're either holding back or you don't care for it. Because I'm the type to react right away. Scale of one to ten, we're gonna go one, two, three, number. Okay. okay. One, two, three, six. Five. Oh, okay. It's mid. <laughs> it's I. It's okay. It's not like it's, juicy it's, Kahlua. It's like it tastes like Kahlua. an omelet with like some kind of meat in it, oh. and there's nothing. It's not like it. recognizable Kahlua. Yeah, it's not. You wouldn't even know it's Kahlua unless like we said it. The fried rice is. Mm. I'm more excited for the other fried rice because that's really what I wanted to get. In my opinion, it makes sense. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is the narco fried rice with Portuguese sausage, ham, bacon, bell pepper, onion, and spinach. Oh yeah, there's two of them hanging out. Okay. Something heroic. Like too sweet. Hmm. Okay. Good. I already know this looks good. It's really hard to mess up like fried rice. I mean, you could. One, two, three, seven. Whoa! Nice. It's, it's good. It's not bad. I could eat it. I think um, this was much more like fresh and hot. Mm -hmm. That doesn't taste super fresh to me, but this one's fresh and hot and it's like pretty good. Yeah, it's um, just like a fried rice with like um, Portuguese sausage, I think, right? Yeah, and, yeah. Bake, like, uh, and ham and bacon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. It's good. We got Jana here. Hello. What did you get? I got um, veggie omelet. I got... Um, Get some gravy and then a pumpkin pancake. Perfect. So I will try the sweet one first. Let's see what we're looking at here. Wanted to get something festive since we went up to Pumpkin Rock today. Nice. Okay. It definitely tastes like pumpkin, but it is not a very pancakey pancake. Yeah, it looks kind of moist. It is a little. It doesn't have its um, its um. Like they did good on the flavor, not so good on the pancake part of it. We'll try this next. I feel like biscuits and gravy. I don't know. I want to say you can't go wrong, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. Okay. Good flavor, but very salty. And Listen, you gotta try a lot of things. Yes, I'm like I gotta get some veggies in here. Piece of avocado, some veggies, egg, potatoes. Okay. 
see what we got. Okay, this is good. They put a lot of good flavor into it. You can tell the veggies are fresh. Uh, potato is crunchy. Okay, what okay. would you rate all of these? Um, this by itself, I would give it like a seven or eight. Pancake, very underwhelming. So we're gonna give it like a like a one. Oh, okay. It's not a very okay. good pancake. And over here, a little bit less salt, and it would be good with flavor, but like a three or four because mm. I love some biscuits and gravy. All right. All right. So overall, I would probably not want to come back to Scrambler's Cafe. We kind of talked about it and it felt like maybe this place had so many reviews because it's not the kind of food you'd find in this area. Uh, so, would I come back? Probably not. I, I wouldn't come back. I think the one thing I will say is that the customer service or like the service was great. Like they brought out the food immediately. So I think that probably plays a key factor in all that. But as far as like food quality wise, it was like I wouldn't go back for sure. All right. Go ahead. I don't recommend it at all. <laughs> what are some... I say unique because Scrambler's Cafe is unique to this area. This is like literally horse town, horse country. You're not really going to find Hawaiian food except for that spot. So what are some unique spots in your area? Or have you tried Scrambler's? Let us know in the comments below. Bye.